Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to work with WebRote 8360 product viewer and you can always download the software on our website at webrote8360.com Now I already have it installed here and the few other bits I have prepared here also is a folder with low resolution images of our sample product here and also high resolution images of the same product that we have in this folder here now, low resolution images are loaded right away when the viewer is loaded on a web page and the high resolution images are loaded on demand when the user hits zoom button or rotates an object while it's zoomed. And I also have here a small logo image that we'll use for, for our hotspot demonstration. So let's start Spot Editor and create a new project. We can give it a unique name, shoot test for example. And now let's select a folder where we're going to store our project files. And we can do it on our desktop for this demo. Okay. And now we can select the folder with low resolution images that we prepared on our desktop. And also the folder with high resolution images that we also have here although high resolution images are, are optional. So let's hit create and give it a few seconds. Now everything seems to be loaded fine. So we can review our images by dragging them with the mouse. Now using the toolbar buttons here. And we can also use our mouse wheel, which will work equally well. And we can also review our high resolution images by expanding the high res mode here and see if everything still looks smooth. And here in the top left corner we have some more details about the images. Now if we don't need any extra configuration or hotspots we can just hit publish and either preview the presentation by publishing into a temporary folder that is automatically selected here or publish into a final destination folder that we can select or create here as well. So let's create one on the desktop. Okay, now we can give it the desired name, change viewer width and height, select the skin, and specify if we want to launch it in a default browser and publish. So let's hit publish. And our default browser will load the viewer. Let's see if everything is fine. And now we can see what we got created in our destination folder. So here we have the 360 assets folder with all required image assets that we have selected for this project including any hotspots, which we don't have here right now, but we will discuss them shortly. And we also have here the configuration XML file, which also serves as a project file, and you can always open it in Spot Editor if you want to quickly change or edit a published presentation. The image rotator folder has the actual scripts, CSS files, JavaScript files, and other view resources. We also have here a simple HTML file. It has everything already integrated and really can be used for simple cut and paste into your pages. And as you can see here, we have a few simple comments that should make the copying job uh, much easier. And now you can always launch this auto-generated sample in your browser, in your default browser. You can just double click on this file and it will open it in your default browser. So let's do this. It launches in the browser and looks fine. Now if you need to quickly demo your presentation online, you can just copy these folders as is to your FTP and just share a link to the sample HTML file on your server. 
So now that we reviewed the basics, let's drill down a little further and create a couple of hotspots and change a few other settings. So let's start from scratch and launch Spot Editor again. Then navigate to our project folder that we previously created. Select the project XML file, click open. Let's give it a couple of seconds to load. Okay. On the user interface tab, we can change the toolbar controls, background color and opacity of the toolbar and a few other options. So for the sake of this demo, let's align the toolbar controls to the right and also set the toolbar color to some shade of gray with some opacity here. On the controls tab, we can adjust a few other settings that control viewer capabilities such as drag speed, playback speed, rotation direction and similar. So let's choose rotate once, that will force the viewer to rotate one full loop on page load. And also let's select this image for example as a starting image that will be loaded up front while the rest of the images are being loaded. So let's check here. Now let's switch to the Hotspots tab and create two hotspots, one for the static logo and one that will rotate with a shoe. So let's start with the logo and create a new static spot with a fixed position that we are going to place to the left bottom corner of the viewer with a small left margin of 10 pixel. On the Image tab I will select the sample logo that I have already prepared on my desktop and it can be either a JPEG or PNG image, in this case it's a PNG image. I'll select OK and we can preview the changes by publishing them into a temporary folder. And let's select a different skin. As you can see that our shoe is rotating automatically once and the logo image and the toolbar were updated also. Now let's see if everything else works fine. Looks good. Let's jump back and create a dynamic hotspot. Dynamic hotspot will rotate with the images. So let's select new hotspot, change the name, and pick your desired hotspot indicator graphic. We have a few here to choose from that you can experiment with. Uh, we'll make it a simple text hotspot. Let's put some text here. If you need a more advanced hotspot with any styling you need, including images or anything else, you can just switch to HTML markup and put any HTML code here and embedded CSS or use your custom style sheet. We are not covering this in this tutorial, so let's just assign a URL action. And the URL action will be triggered when user hits the hotspot. So now we can position the hotspot on the shoe, but before we do that, let's change spot path color to black to make it more prominent on our images. And also we can zoom in the images or even switch to high resolution images just to make the positioning job easier. Okay. So now you can just roll your mouse wheel and click on each image as you go. So let's do this now. I'm gonna click through a few more images here. And you can also drag each spot with your mouse to adjust its position or press Ctrl key and move a spot per pixel in any direction with the arrow keys on your keyboard. And here on right mouse click we have a couple of other helpful options. Now just hit F5 which will automatically launch the preview as it was configured uh, previously. And as we can see, the hotspot is now on the shoe and I can click on it and the click action will launch the new browser tab. Well, this is it for the demo. If you would like to learn more, visit our website at webrotate360.com.